Your future self is gonna thank you when you make this killer kangaroo chili recipe I'm about to share with you. Future business owner self is also gonna thank you as that chili is gonna be a metaphor as to why you need a mixture of channels in your marketing mix. And don't worry, I will put the recipe in the comments. A breadth of ingredients is key for a good chili and that is no different for a marketing strategy. We're gonna start with browning our rumen. This is the core to any great chili recipe. So think of it as like the core channel in your marketing, like your website. Next, we're gonna add our capsicum and our garlic. These are like your secondary channel. They're important on their own, but they're not necessarily gonna stand out. Now pay attention here, mash one of the tins of beans. I guarantee you this is really gonna help your chili stay nice and thick. This is the one thing I see no chili recipe ever do, and I'm serious, you have to do it. And now it's time to add your spices. So like your additional channels like email marketing or SEO, they really enhance your message and really just elevate it to the next level. They enhance your audience and give you great reach, just like they add a depth of flavor to your chili. Your beans and your tomatoes and a good old can of beer are what go in next into your mix. And consider these like the different type of mediums that you use. Yeah, sure, you could post a boring old image, but videos and carousels and polls and stuff really add some variety. You keep your channels interesting, and hey, everybody learns in different ways, so it's a great way to engage absolutely everyone within your audience. Also, don't forget to salt and pepper your chili as well, but the beer, definitely recommend a pale ale or even try a stout. Now, your diced roux is like any paid media, like ads or sponsorship. Nice to have, but not necessary. However, paid media really does help enhance and reach your message to a broader audience. Now, this is the secret to the good chili. If your spoon can stand up like this, then you're set. The longer you cook, the better. And yes, your spoon should still stand on end after a few hours. And giving your entire mix a lot of time to brew and stew is key. And just like in marketing, letting all of these elements work together over time, you'll see the positive effects on your brand and business. I usually top my chili with cheese, with some sour cream, coriander, avocado, you name it. Definitely a dash of lime too, for sure. Ultimate dinner, just like it makes the ultimate marketing campaign. Anyway, let me know if you try it and if you liked it.